I found an article from Tom Rainer, Church Answers, that I wanted to share with you. I think it's the perfect time for us to start thinking how we can all be one team. And that one team can be we can all be on Jesus' team. And I, I found this article, Seven Reasons Not to View Other Churches as Competition. So let's become one in the kingdom of Christ and see if we can't get people added to the, the church. And he will add them to the buildings. Here's seven reasons. First of all, we are on the same team. If you're, if you're a Christian, you're a Christian. I don't care what the title is above your door. You either are a Christian or you're not. If you have a mindset of competition, you're trying to beat this church or that church, who you're really supposed to be beating is the devil. You're supposed to be trying to get people into Christ, into some church, wherever the Lord assigns them. And he will take care of the churches and where they go. But we're not in competition with each other. We're in competition with Satan. That's our only enemy. No person. Sometimes people do things that feel like they're our enemy. They aren't. It's always through Satan that trouble comes. Every local church is different. God made them different just like he made all of us different. If every church was exactly the same, boring. So he made all of us colorful characters in colorful churches. We're all part of a plan. If you compare and compete with each other, then you are actually into a form of lust. I want the biggest, I want the best, I want, I want. You're, you're, you've, you've lost the great commission of knowing Jesus and helping other people know Jesus. And now you're about trying to pursue your own ego and being seen as part of a great work. Comparison and competing with other churches or other denominations is actually a lack of gratitude. And you're not grateful for what the Lord's doing where you are through you doing what you do. Read the Bible. Everybody in there was doing a different kind of thing in a different kind of place or time. And each was working with the Lord. David wasn't Moses. Mary Magdalene wasn't Mary, the mother of Christ. So we don't need to be lusting uh, and, and having a grati lack of gratitude. Uh, you're not true to your call when you compete and compare churches. If you're true to God and you're true to your call, God's going to take care of you. He's going to put a light at your feet. He's going to put a light on your, a lamp at your foot a light at your path, and he's going to show you what to do, just as he does me. God does great things when his people work together. How many times, look at the upper room, when they were all together in one accord and in unity, then the Spirit could work. Let's, let's get on the same team. We can all be one in Jesus Christ.